welcome to our mill. This is where we go from rough green lumber, as we call it, green treated lumber, to a finished product. Uh, this equipment has been here for years. Fortunately, it's all paid for, but it does the job. And I want you to introduce you to the process and what happens from this point forward. This is where we go from rough lumber to a basically a finished product. Finished as far as the shape of the member is concerned. We have a number of different profiles that we run. Uh, D-style logs are still the most popular logs, uh, but it's all done right here. Everything that we manufacture ourselves as far as a finished product is done on this uh, planer for all you uh, machinery buffs out there, this is the Yates American A2012 A2, that uh, is uh, a six-headed uh, machine. Let me show you a few of the heads that we use. Uh, these are the heads that go on the uh, left side of the planer. These are just some of the profiles that we cut. We've got the tongue and groove heads here. This is a base log head. <coughs> and you'll see in one of our videos, you'll see uh, us running the base log. This is a head that's used to cut the uh, pattern for a D log. This pattern is cut on the profile or the outfeed end of the uh, machine and that's we take a square timber and put a put a round face back on it okay let me sort of describe what happens here as far as the flow of the material from where we were under the shed with the air drying stock we bring the timber in and we set it on this deck at the the far side of what this is called a tilt horse. Uh, the bundles move forward and once they reach the tilt horse, uh, they are transported up onto the horse part and that tilts back toward the far side of the tilt horse. And the, bu and the bundles elevate up uh, and they, are, they come off layer by layer down onto this deck so to give us some separation so they can easily be looked at and graded by the planer operator. He's looking at each timber and making a judgment as to the quality. Now, just like trees, just like individuals, every timber is not perfect. So he makes a judgment on whether or not that particular timber needs to be uh, turned or graded in some manner. So he makes that judgment and then feeds them one at a time across this table and on to the planer feed table. And the planer feed table has extra movement that uh, pushes the logs into the planer. Uh, the first set of rollers are really the powerhouse of the planer. That's what feeds the material into the planer. And there are six, they can be as many as six heads cutting against the movement of that log. So there's a lot of force to overcome. So it's important that you have heads that are designed for that purpose to push the material through, the, through that cutting process. Uh, the first heads on the planer are top head and then a bottom head. So it is size to thickness by the top head first. And then we take a minimum amount of wood off the bottom of what we call the cant. Okay, so the timber is sized by the time it reaches the side heads. And the side heads in our operation is where uh, the buckle, the profiling is done. And on this particular 
pattern that we'll be looking at today as far as the finished products concerned. Uh, the tongues are put on the right hand side of the machine as it's feeding through and the grooves are put on the left head, side head as it's feeding in. Then it moves on through so you've got it size to thickness and profile to the top and bottom. Then it comes into what's known as the profiler and the profiler's covered up, I'm sorry, we can't see that. But the profiler has a large 12 inch round head as much as this one is uh, an 8 inch profiler. We're going to be looking at uh, a 12 inch uh, profile and that completes the milling process. Now, in years past, we did grading at this point. That was before we started pre-cutting the logs. But for years now, since we've started the pre-cutting, and the bulk of uh, the logs that we run are pre-cut, we do all that grading through that pre-cutting process because the, the man that operates the saw uh, looks at every linear foot really intently and he makes a judgment as to the quality of the log and if there's a defect he cuts it out at that point discards it and uses whatever material to the right or left of that uh, he can use and there are a lot of short logs in a home between the windows and doors you uh, have mostly short logs on the base course and the logs above the windows and doors, you have your longest logs. So there's always a lot of short logs where you can uh, defect the logs and still get a lot of utility out of a particular cant. Okay, we're now ready to take a look at the pre-cut process. <laughs> 